Next up, and I'll make this quick, uh, MicroStrategy buys another 16,800 Bitcoin. <laughs> That's a lot of money. What's going on? So on September 14th, yesterday, MicroStrategy completed its acquisition of 16,796 Bitcoins as an aggregate price of 175 million. Michael Saylor, CEO of MicroStrategy said in a tweet, I gotta tell you, uh, CEOs love to tweet. Got nothing else to do, I guess. He says, to date, we have purchased a total of 38,000 Bitcoins at a price of 425 million almost half a billion good for them inclusive of fees and expenses in 2012 sailor wrote about the mobile wave which discussed the impact mobile computing had on business and politics and before i go on if you don't know um micro strategy it is an analytics platform a lot of computerized learning and they bought 21,000 bitcoin in august they now own 0.1 percent of all bitcoin maybe now it's 0.2 percent and the CEO stated, hey, Bitcoin is uh, digital gold, harder, stronger, faster, and smarter than any money that has preceded it. So my question always is, if they're into analytics and computerized learning, did they just use all the uh, information at their disposal? Hey, the next big thing is Bitcoin and we need to jump onto it, which would make sense because that's exactly what it is. Anyhow, so Sailor's really, he's ahead of the curve. He talks about the mobile wave. And then the firm reportedly pivoted to what was described as the virtual wave, which involved the rapid dematerialization of products, services, and processes enabled by advances in technologies and catalyzed by the COVID crisis, which we see right now with Zoom. Um, you know, technology is taking over. I mean, it's already been taken over, but with, with the coronavirus and everything else, uh, it's become crystal clear that, hey, we don't need to go to an expensive office in a business building. We can just meet virtually on Zoom or Blackboard or whatever else is out there, or Teams, and we can collaborate. We don't have to have all this overhead. It makes sense. And when he talks about uh, the mobile wave, I remember as when I was doing digital marketing back in 2012, same things I do now <laughs> with my other businesses, but uh, I remember the big switch from desktop uh, and tablets to mobile. Everything that we used to design was for uh, computerized or for ta for um, desktops, but uh, now everything we, des we design is all for mobile. I mean, we, there's a ton of analytics and data out there that uh, all the different things that people actually buy are on their mobile phone, and this guy was ahead of the curve back then. And I think he's ahead of the curve right now buying Bitcoin, but it only makes sense. However, he hasn't felt this way in 2013. He tweeted, Bitcoin's days are numbered, which is quite a change of tune. And that's the whole thing. You're going to see people, friends, family, loved ones, people out there in, in the wild. They're going to say, you know what, Bitcoin, it, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just dead. It's, it doesn't work. It's, you know, and uh, they're all going to come around and that's what's going to happen. So uh, I envy you. If you are coming in right now, because we're in a down market, a little—I mean, we're uh, we're in a little bit of a bull market. We're, we're but we're not parabolic like 2017 December. So I envy you if you're here right now. I think it's the perfect time to really start investing. So congratulations! All right, let's move on.